Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to install a courtesy light on 2013 and 2014 Honda Accord Sport. Some of the tools you need are a Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, nylon pry tool, lens cap, and here's the part number if you need it. Pigtail connector, this is a T10 type pigtail connector. Wire crimping tool, 18 or 20 gauge wires, um, some type of bulb, I went ahead and decided to get the LED instead electrical tape, the sub connector, and a flexible metal wire so that way you can feed the electrical uh, wire through later in the door. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is an example of what it looked like when it installed. This is on the driver's side and I'm going to show you how to do it on the passenger side which is similar process but just a little bit different upon running the wire. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and remove the door panel um, for the sedan version. They are located behind here and here. So we need to remove these uh, pieces to access the screw. So to get the panel piece off with this one, there's a little ledge right here that you can stick a small flathead screwdriver in and you just want to push it down. And there you go. And then there's this piece. There's a little small latch right here. You just want to get a uh, flathead screwdriver or a nylon pry tool, I suggest, and pry these off. So this is what it looks like when you pry it up. So once you pry it up for this part, you want to pull it that sideways to this way. And then um, unplug all the wire. And the screw you're going to unscrew is this one and these two. I'm not sure you can see it. Right there and right there. This screw you want to pull the door handle out and then you want to stick your screwdriver in and then open it so that way you you don't cross thread um, the screw. You remove all the screw which I did right here. The next you want to take off this plastic trim piece and then We'll begin um, disassembling the door and I will show you how. So for this piece, you get a nylon pry tool and you just want to pry it around. And once you've done that, you just want to pull it out and lift it up. And there's only one tab holding it, which is the screen tab. So let's go ahead and get started on disassembling the door. So with your nylon pry tool, you want to work around the edges of the door, right? And there are nine tabs in which holding this door panel. And um, when you remove, you will hear a loud click that notifies you that um, you pull out the tab, so which is good. And there are nine of them, so make sure um, you go all the way around. So the next thing we need to do is remove these tabs. Another tab right here. This one here, here, and here. And then this whole assembly which should come out. And you also want to unclip this and you should be able to take out the entire door. So to remove the door, once you have um, remove, um, unclip all the tab, you just want to pull it out so slightly. So it's like it's um, swinging. And then you just want to pull it up and then pull it out and there you go and you just need to remove the door actuator behind it and the whole piece should come out so the next thing we're going to do is take off this plastic cover and replace it with the lens cap and the pigtail connector so I have my pigtail connector installed and now we're just going to pop in the lens cap but I'm going to do that later after I install the bulb so this is just for now that's how you would do it Okay, so here come the most challenging, probably most of the trickiest part of this process is feeding the wire through the door. So what we're going to do is, there's this wire loom right here. I went ahead and just um, kind of opened the grommet. That way you can just feed the wire through it more easily. There, right there. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to go in the car and take off this plastic panel piece uh, under the passenger seat. And then once you feed the wire through, you should see it. And I will show you in a second. 
So I guess there's two options you can feed the wire through. You can remove the speaker and run the wire through, or you can peel this back and feed the wire through. But when you peel this back, be very careful. It's, it's very easy to rip, so just peel it off slowly. So to remove the speaker, you just remove the screw right here. And once you move that, you just want to pull it out slightly, and then you just want to lift it up. So that's how it's being held on by these um, two hook right here. Here and here. This way, you should have access to feed the wire through. All right, here. So after you feed the wire through, it should look something like this. And here's the wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this wire instead of um, putting it through the speaker. I'm going to feed it through this hole instead. And I will do that in a second. We need to, so what we need to do next is run this wire through here, through the middle console. And then we'll connect it to uh, the fuse box over there. So I have run this wire through the middle console. And here it is. So we are going to connect to the fuse box using the D-sub connector that I explained to you, uh, that I showed you earlier. And I will explain you um, which connector we're going to use in this case. So the first thing we need to do is remove this panel piece to access the fuse box. And then once we remove um, this wire connected through these buttons, make sure you go ahead and just unplug all of them. So to remove this piece, just go ahead by um, just pulling this down. There's a few taps holding this. And then just pull this pieces out. There you go. and unplug all the wires. So there are several options you can use. Um, you can tap into one of these fuses using the add a circuit. Or um, what I did was I used this little gray socket up here. I don't know if you can see it, but there, there are seven pins and there are two row. I used the bottom row. And then you wanna use the far left pin and the far right pin. Uh, the far left pin will give you the constant 12 volts. And then the uh, far right will um, be the ground. So this effect gives you, when you close the door, just like the dome light, it will fade out. So that's what I like. And I went ahead and um, uh, used that instead. And what you need to do is use a D-sub connector. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. So here's the D-sub connector. Um, what we need to do is just go ahead and break one of these off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed the wire or crimp the wire down at that bottom part. Not sure you can see it. Yeah, right there. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you crimp it down. Um, my wire gauge is a little bit too big, but and if it, your is too big, just um, kind of trim off a few co um, copper strand and then until it fits into the um, D-sub connector. And once you've done that, you just want to crimp it down. And then using a shrink tube or electric tape, you want to cover all these, you know, exposing um, metal parts. So from here, going down, leaving the little, you know, opening so you can connect it to the connector. So once you... Once you have crimped down the connector, go ahead and connect the positive to the very far left pin. And then the ground will be the very far right pins. I'm trying to focus. So there you go, as you can see. So positive, far left, ground is far right. And this is the bottom row. So once we have run all the wires, 
Let's go ahead and put back the door panel and then install the uh, pigtail connector and the lens cap um, into these. I use a quick connector um, just to make it a little bit more convenient for me. Um, it's optional um, if you want to or not. So since I already connect this um, for the driver's side, and here's my wire for uh, the passenger side, I'm just going to use these quick connector. These quick connector and just tap into um, this wire that I already have connected. Um, so using these for the passenger side. So once you plug on the wire in, test to see if it lights up. Um, if you connect and the bulbs not light up for LED, it could be one because it's reversed, two, um, the uh, metal is not making contact with the pigtail connector. And as you can see, it's on. And on my driver's side, it's on as well. So all the connection is correct. Now all you need to do is just put everything back and um, you're done. So let's test it out and see how it looks. There you go, and that's how you install Corsi Light on 2013 2014 Honda Accord Sport. And this is for the sedan version. Thanks for watching.